Hi, right, Charles. AGP here, and as y'all can see from the title, today's video is about disappointment. Um, listen, y'all remember E3 2019? Remember the good times back in June? Yeah, to June 2019, where we thought we were getting a lot of games coming in the first quarter for 2020. Um, it's been about three weeks or four since you know this year started. It's been great 2020, you know. Um, hopefully, I hope everybody's had a good 2020 um, so far, and I hope it continues to be great. Um, what what I what I want to know is what what the hell is going on? Okay, um, it seems like every game that we were excited for has been delayed. Now, obviously, that's not that big of a deal. It's much better than being like, yeah, we canceled all the games. We're starting all the way over. Congratulations, you fail as a fan base. That's, that could have been, you know, it could have been that bad. Um, but they wouldn't do that because that probably hurt their pockets too. Um, but there's a lot of games, meaning all of them, for the most part, that have been delayed from the March-April window to some other time in either this year or possibly next year which would totally mean that some of these games may not even come out on this system or maybe they will come out on the system i don't know it could be 2021 and they could you know obviously ps5 and xbox series x will have been out but they could still give us technically two games you know each time they drop one they could give us a ps4 and a ps5 copy or an xbox one and an xbox x series copy I, I don't know. Right now, nobody knows. Um, but I just want to talk about all the games that were delayed, tell y'all what games were delayed, and tell you how far they've been delayed and whether or not we actually know about what the hell is going on. The answer to that is no. So, you know, I'm going to just start off with the, with the first technically big one that people would probably have been excited for, although it seems like it's a little split. Some people think it's going to be cool, others think it's going to be trash or basura. Um... I'm personally excited for it, but it's just because I love superheroes, and that is Avengers. Marvel's Avengers is apparently delayed as well as the rest of the games that we're going to talk about, but it was the first one. So Marvel's Avengers is delayed. Um, its original release date was May 15th, 2020. They pushed it back to September. Um, that's all they gave us, September. There's nothing else. They just said, you know what? It's coming out in September. Now... September is not the holiday season, guys. Freeze! My fault, y'all. If y'all were just wondering um, why I'm bringing up September and it not really being part of the holiday season, it's because in the holiday season, of course, we're supposed to get the Xbox Series X and the PS5. So just because a game gets pushed back to September doesn't mean it's not going to be on these systems or that it's going to be on the next systems or that they have anything to do with each other at all. Okay, back to the video. Interesting. But that's right outside the damn holiday season. Like, holiday season to me basically starts right when Halloween happens. Maybe a little bit before. I don't know. But you get Halloween. Then in November we get Thanksgiving. And in that window, and then of course Christmas, and in that whole window, and, and Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. And in that whole window, you you know, we were going to get systems. We're getting a new set. It's a new generation that's upon us. So... The thing is, I really hope that Marvel's Avengers ends up being really good, like as good as I think it has the potential to be, because if it fails, and if it's really not that good, like it's, it's going to be ugly for y'all, and I'm going to just apologize to Square Enix now, y'all are going to get dragged through the mud, so please, please, if you're taking this time to polish it up, really polish it up, and make sure it's good, don't, don't, don't play games, don't play around with us, because you will get dragged. Yeah, so don't, I mean, not by me. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not a critic. Not not really. You know, in a couple of my videos, I might talk about what I like or don't like, but I'm not gonna really make videos about whether or not I think you're good or bad. I'll probably enjoy it. I usually find a way to do it pretty much every game. Um, but yeah, so that's what that's what they said, and it probably might possibly get it with next gen titles. So we'll see. Um, the next game that's pretty big is Final Fantasy VII. Now, Final Fantasy VII got delayed, but it's only delayed by a month, so we can work with that. It was supposed to come out in March, I believe, but now the release date is April 10th. So at least with that, you it came out, you know, a little later, but we have an actual release date. For the rest of these, uh, y'all gonna be a little bit tight, because for a lot of these, we just have a window and no date. But, you know, it is what it is. Cyberpunk 2077. Now... Oh, CD Projekt Red. Now, a lot of people are really excited for this game, me included. I think it will be good. Um, 
I feel like the only thing I was a little disappointed with was I don't even know what it was called. That the the last stream or video that they had. I mean, they gave us a little bit more information, but uh, you know, I think whatever reveal we thought we were gonna get, we didn't really get it in the last one. But I don't even remember what it was called. I think it was it was sometime. Well, it had to be sometime after E3. I don't even remember the window at which. With, with Death Stranding and all that that was coming out, I, I have no idea. I don't even remember what, what, what window that was in. But, and Call of Duty, I just, I don't remember. I know it was like around the time that Call of Duty came out, a little bit before it, something like that. But, anyways, this has been delayed. Now, here's the problem with this. Um, it's been delayed about three months. No, I'm sorry, five months. Because it was supposed to come out in April, uh, April 16th to be exact. It's now coming out in September. So, if you thought you were going to be, you know, running around Night City in April, you know, shooting up people first player with your claws, and you're, you're not, you're not going to be doing that. Um, now, I don't think this should be a big hit. I mean, again, what I will say is let's remember that even though things are getting delayed, we might have wanted it to get delayed because you know there's going to be a lot of complaints anyway, so let's hope that the polishing up that they're doing is really valid. Um, but because right now they're saying it's technically playable like CD Projekt Red has said that the game is playable But they just want to polish it up before it releases so I don't know I mean it takes a lot to make games it takes a lot of time so five months could, could you know could be the right time for polishing up uh, You know, I don't know we, we'll see when it happens now the only dumb thing about Cyberpunk 2077 is that Apparently the multiplayer is coming out in 2022 now. I mean I'll I'll look up some more sources to make sure that's true, but if that is the case, um, what, 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 what we, don't, we don't really give a f I apologize, that was both rude and insensitive. I apologize. Love you. There's no point in telling us that, because I don't even know how many people are gonna, unless, unless it really ends up being really good, and then, you know, I don't even know what the multiplayer is gonna be like, uh, you would have to have some kind of combination of, like, I don't know, maybe Uncharted and... Call of Duty. I have no idea how that's gonna go. I feel like that could go one of two ways. Unless it has like some weird, not weird, but some kind of server like GTA where, and and Red Dead Redemption where it's like a free roam kind of thing, um, and you can get with posse's and stuff, and maybe you guys have missions. That would actually be pretty cool. I mean, you know, you have to fight other gangs for that or something like that'd be cool. So you know, but I'm just saying to let us know that the multiplayer is coming out in 2022 is almost like. You, I mean, we right now we're waiting for the initial game, so hopefully we get that in September and not. I mean, granted, if it comes out on the next gen systems, that would be awesome. I mean, if all these do get delayed to the point where it's like most of them are coming out on the next gen systems, I mean, that could be good and bad. I, I don't know because uh, right now we don't even know what the original issues are going to be with the new systems when they come out because you know they all need updates. We have no idea what's going to happen there. Um. The next game is Dying Light 2. Now, I don't play Dying Light. I've never played the first one. Um, but I know there's people that are excited for it. Um, but I don't know much about it, to be honest. I should probably look up more about Dying Light 2 and see why people like it. Because I have no idea why. Um, but it was supposed to come out. Uh, from what I know in spring of 2020. So that could be the next few months. That's about, that's April. You know, March, April, May. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, so that's supposed to come out now and sometime later. Yeah, if you thought you were getting a specific date or window, congratulations. You're not getting one. I'm so sorry. At least you're not going to get it here until I find out, and then, you know, I'll let y'all know. But they just said it's delayed, so congratulations to us. It's delayed. Now, if y'all are wondering, which nobody asked, but I'm going to tell you anyways because I want to. Uh... Last of Us Part 2 was the first game, I think, the biggest game and the first game, I think, that we got the delayed situation from, let me be honest, bump you Naughty Dog and Last of Us Part 2, not even because you delayed it, but because look at what you did, it's because you delayed it, but it's because you made it so now everybody thinks it's okay to just delay shit, like, that we're all looking for, like, it's your fault, like, if you weren't feeling bad, you should not your fault. I'm putting this on your shoulders. You were the first people to say it, and because you had the biggest game coming out, everybody was like, well, if they can do it, we can definitely do it. And, you know, we could also praise you later if all the games end up being really good, and the polishing actually was polishing. Um, and then, you know, maybe I'll come back on here, and I'll be like, we love you because. 
you gave us five to six really good games to start out for the new systems or to st or the end of the uh, generation, you made it shine. So right now, screw you. Later, maybe congratulations, and we appreciate you. It is. Um, so now, obviously, the initial release date for that was February 2020. They didn't give us an actual date, but then it's now May 29th, 2020. So at least we know we're getting that. So April and May. Right now, we just know we're getting Final Fantasy VII and The Last of Us Part Two, and we'll see what's going on there when that time period comes around. Um, now, of course, I'm gonna jump to, you know, one of my one of my favorite companies, but also, you know, some of the most frustrating. You know, like I love y'all, but like um, we might have to square up one day. Just me and the whole company. Just just bring the whole company. We'll square up. You owe me my thirty, and you know it'll 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 be good. It'll be good times. Ubisoft, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you freaking. Anyways, so y'all have delayed all three of your damn games. So <laughs> to 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 by the way, just so y'all know, for all three of these games, there's no date for any of them right now. They're just delayed to sometime in this fiscal year. Now, just so y'all know. And I don't think it's just Ubisoft, but I think it's video, a lot of video game companies in general. But a fiscal year is from April 1st of whatever year that is to March 31st of the next year. So this year would be April 1st, 2020 to March 31st, 2021 is the fiscal year. Now they told us that a few of these games, right, were supposed to come out early 2020. And now they're coming out sometime in the fiscal year, which means we might not even get a version on these systems. And don't be too mad. They're probably not going to do that, but we'll see. So the three games are Watch Dogs 3, you know, which originally was supposed to come out. Watch Dogs 3 was supposed to come out in March. <laughs> March 6th was the date they gave us, and it got pushed back now to any time in the fiscal year. Gods and Monsters initial release date was in February, like The Last of Us Part 2, but they actually gave us a date. Ubisoft did not. They're getting pushed back. There was in February 2020. It is now not coming out in February 2020. And we could, might possibly not see that till March 31st, 2021. Now, how funny would that be if they were just like, here's this game on the last day of the fiscal year. And we're just like, really? Like, I forgot about that game. I don't know much about Gods and Monsters. But, you know, Watch Dogs 3 will probably do well. Gods and Monsters is a toss-up. Some people are excited. And then, of course, the next big one, the two biggest ones, this is the second biggest one for Ubisoft, is Rainbow Six Quarantine. Now, they just gave us a year for that one. They were just like, you know what the initial release date is? We're all listening in, all keenly. Hey, when's the initial release date? They said 2020. Thank you. We, we appreciate it. Can we get a little bit more specific? They were like, hell no. Take that and, you know, accept it for what it is. Now it's not coming out and it could possibly come out. I mean, it's going to come out, but it could come out in 2021. So, again, they're all pushed into the fiscal year sometime in the fiscal year. April 1st, 2020 to March 31st, 2021. Um, you know, so that is that is where we are standing with the games that were supposed to come out everybody was excited for this first quarter first or second quarter whatever the beginning of 2020 and now you know it's it's a it's a it's a l but what i will say is that if they're really pushing these things back like i said before and it's gonna be for the best like we're gonna get some really good games with minimal complaints then you know what nobody will care about the delay and they will just be happy that they got a really good game that they were waiting for and that they wanted. Um, so that's what I'm hoping happens for all these games in general. But, you know, definitely my favorites. Like, the, the ones I'm looking forward to the most, probably pretty obvious, just like a few others. I mean, for me, of course, Last of Us Part Two, Watch Dogs 3, Legion. Um, I don't play Rainbow Six or Gods and Monsters, but, you know, because they have the Ubisoft tag, I had to congratulate you on delaying all of them. And they are popular. Um, I am excited for Marvel's Avengers, but it's probably a tier or two below those two. Not even because... I mean, I love, you know, Avengers. I love comic books. I read them. 
next question. I've read a decent amount. I still got a lot more to read. And Marvel's Phase 5 is starting to turn out to look really kind of beautiful. And I do kind of want to make a video about that if y'all love superheroes, you know, like I do. It'll be fun, um, especially when it looks like it looks like DC has started to make a, a good, uh, you know... I mean, we were talking about Marvel and the Avengers, but I mean, it looks like DC is also trying to make something happen here. Like like I was telling people before, I think Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Shazam, I think they were all good. So we will see. We will see what happens. But the Morbius trailer and Blades coming out. And anyways, that's for another video. But point is, Marvel's Avengers I'm excited for. Final Fantasy VII, I didn't really... I mean, I don't. I never really played Final Fantasy like that. The first Final Fantasy I think I played at all was, dang, it might have been six or five, and it was on Jam Pack. You remember the? Y'all remember the Jam Pack games where it gave you demos of like six different games? That was actually one of the greatest things ever. But you know, might be showing my age a little bit. I'm in my twenties, mid twenties. Well, I'm, tw I'm twenty four. But anyways, that's that's neither here nor there. Point is, that was. Those those were great, um, but that was the first time I ever touched any Final Fantasy, so I can't say I'm excited for it. But I'm not gonna say I'm not. I am. I will try new games, especially since I'm not the biggest on turn-based. The only turn-based games that I really loved growing up was Pokemon. So yeah, um, but yeah, I think those are the games that I'm most. Oh, sorry, Cyberpunk 2077. I almost disrespected you. I'm, I'm so sorry. So you probably read. That is something that I am excited for as well. I really hope it turns out good. I think it will. I really do think it will. Um, and, you know, if the multiplayer does come out two years later, it's whatever if it's going to be good. If it's going to be really good, then, you know, we can have ourselves a, 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 good, a good time with Cyberpunk. And it's also smart when you do that, too, because then, let's say, the hype or the talk about it whittled out over those two years, and then, you know, you slap them with... You know, you slap them real quick with multiplayer, and then the multiplayer is good, and then, you know, who knows, they'll probably consistently update that if it's good and people like it. So that'll be a good time. Um, but yeah, like, I want y'all to tell me what you're most excited for. Now, I wanted, the only other thing I wanted to bring up to though is, is Ghost of Tsushima. Now, that's supposed to come out summer of this year. I pray that they don't push that one back anymore, because we were excited to get a window, man. Like, because, really. Like, it took us two years to get a window. A window? Really? A window? Come on, guys. You have an idea of where... Well, maybe not. Because, you know, people change jobs and things. You lose certain people. But we will see. Hopefully that one does not get pushed back. Because that is a game I am extremely excited for. And I'm going to make a new video, too. Because we've gotten a little bit... Not really. It's not even really a little bit of information. But it's a good sign. For the next Splinter Cell game, and I told y'all Ubisoft is my company. I love them. I just want to fight all of them. Not a big deal. This is brothers fight. It's, it's a family fight. You know, fist fight. You get fist fight. Um, yeah, it's running for me my thirty. That's all I want with Ubisoft. But everything else, I'm excited for. Um, and you know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Y'all tell me what you're most excited for. What you're not most excited for. What you don't really care about being delayed. Are you mad about these delays? Are you just excited that you're getting them at all? Or are you happy that they're taking this much time to perfect the games? Each one of them. You know, you should let me know in the comments. And I'm gonna finish my walkthroughs. Uh, well, I'm gonna finish my walkthroughs, but I'm gonna finish my Lost Legacy walkthrough probably within this next week or two, hopefully. And, you know, I'll be coming in with informational videos like this as well um there's some other you know other stuff too but it'll be a, it'll be a good time so but i'm gonna catch y'all later i hope y'all enjoyed this